Hi, welcome to another Quick Tip Thursday and today I'm here to show you how you can use the magic mask in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in the computer and see how it's done. So as you can see here in the edit page I already have a clip here, a simple clip of a bride putting her earrings and for using the magic mask you have to come here to the color tab and come here where it says magic mask select it and now you come to here with this where it has this qualifier with a plus and as you can see if when I'm over the clip it has this qualifier with a plus if you don't see it come here so if it's like this come here and select the qualifier and start drawing over the subject that you want to mask. Okay. Yeah. Doing this, this like this. Now you don't see what is masked because you have this here is toggle mask overlay and if I select it you will notice that Da Vinci knows now what you what you want to mask. Now there are there are two options in here, this one is the, the quality, the faster and the better. I always use better, depending on your computer you can go with faster or better. So if I'm going with better, I will select better. And you also add in here another two options, this one that it says object mask and this one that selects person. Okay, but I'm using, I'm selecting a person, yes, but I always use this one. But if you wanna, you can go with person mask and now you have two options. You have person and features. If you wanna select the whole person, you select here and if you wanna select some parts, you can come here and here you can have all these options like arms, clothing, hair, face, everything in here. But as I said, I prefer to go with object mask. Now the mask is selected, but if I'm if I come forward, the mask isn't there because you have to track the mask over the whole clip. So for Doing that, you have this option here, these options here. This one is for tracking forward, this one is for tracking backward, and this one is if you are in the middle, you this will track both ways. Since I'm in the beginning, I'm gonna track forward. Start tracking, and depending on your computer, this is gonna be faster or slower. And it's almost done and it's done so everything is tracked if you move you notice that everything is now selected now you don't want to see the red you come here and you toggle it back now with this with the mask selected you can do whatever you want to the bride for example you can change the the temperature or change the tint or you can add a little bit of contrast you can add a little bit you can put it black and white now it's black and white or you can leave it, give it a little bit of saturation I'm gonna here decrease a little bit the gain and a little bit the gamma And now you change the color grading of the bright and all the rest is the same. But if you want to change the background and not the bright, you come here where it says invert mask and you just select it and it's done. Now it's, if I toggle it now, this is what's selected and the right is not. And you can do the same in here. 
So you can remove this, you can come here and you can feel a little bit warmer or colder. You can change here and here. So you can do whatever you want. But another thing that you can do is isolate the bright from everything else and use just the bright. So let's invert it. So the bright is selected. Red, so let me red in here. Okay. Now for isolating, you just come in here to the notes area, uh, click on the right mouse button and add alpha output. Connect this blue square here to the blue, and as you can see background disappear and now you only have black here in the edit phase now you just want you have only this so imagine that you want to put the bright in front of the moon the bright with the moon rotating in the back now imagine that you want to put the bright in the beach the bright in the beach so I'm gonna select let's zoom a little bit the image and now the bright is in the beach or another thing that I use a lot is control the color of the bright and the background separately so I will grab the same clip put it below the other one and now this is the original and now you see that only the bright changes now if you select this one go to the color page here now you can adjust the clip gonna give it a little bit let's give it a little bit more warm let's And now you have both clips with different color gradients and one is not affecting the other one. So as you can see you can do whatever you want with this technique with the magic mask and your imagination is the limit. So use it and tell me what you think about this. Hope you learned something today with this explanation and if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I will launch a video. Until there, bye!